Natural Selection in Bacteria Washing your hands is one of the best ways to avoid spreading diseases. Antibiotics in soaps and medicines kill bacteria that can cause illnesses. But they can also kill beneficial bacteria at the same time. Not all bacteria are harmful. But can bacteria become resistant to antibiotics? And do we really want to eliminate all bacteria from our lives? We're going to answer these questions in just a few minutes by performing a simple experiment. Before we get started, remember, handle glassware carefully. Be careful when working with an open flame, and always wear your lab coat and safety goggles. Also, make sure you have your science journal handy to take down notes and record results. All right, let's get started. Okay, here's what we'll need for this experiment. Gloves, a marker, two nutrient agar petri dishes, Bunsen burner, an oculation loop, and forceps. We also need a bacteria culture and an antibiotic disc. My hypothesis is that an antibiotic disc will kill all the bacteria in the surrounding area. Let's begin. I'm going to label the bottom of one Petri dish A and the other Petri dish B. Dish A will be the one with the antibiotic disc, and dish B will be my control. Now I'm going to sterilize the inoculation loop by using the Bunsen burner. Be careful around an open flame. I'll use the inoculation loop to get a small amount of bacteria culture. This is applied to the petri dishes in a zigzag pattern, but you don't want to break the surface of the nutrient agar. Next, I'll use the forceps to pick up an antibiotic disc. The disc will go into petri dish A. I've covered both petri dishes and set them aside. I'm going to check them at the same time three days from now and record my findings in my science journal. Time to clean up and wash my hands. Well, three days have passed and you can really see a difference in the petri dishes. In petri dish B, the bacteria covered the dish just as we expected. There was no antibiotic present to inhibit growth. In Petri dish A, the antibiotic disc killed most of the surrounding bacteria, but a few bacterial colonies grew even in the presence of the antibiotic. The fact that some bacteria grew, even with the antibiotic disc, means that there are some antibiotic-resistant bacteria out there. What would happen if I used another bacteria culture? Would the individual variances in the bacteria lead some to be more resistant? And are they ones that reproduce? Are they more fit for that situation? Over time, would the resistant colonies continue to grow and thrive? It's clear that bacteria adapt and become resistant to antibiotics. Those single-celled organisms sure are tough. And all species adapt to their environments. Otherwise, species would go extinct. You know what they say, adapt, migrate, or die. <laughs>